Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in Mexico, and that means we've got some new cars to unlock. Sorta. If I pause the game, open up the festival playlist this week, you can unlock this thing. The Gunther Works Porsche 911. Really, really cool car, but it was in Forza Horizon 4. I don't want to make the exact same video again, so if you want to see me check out this car and all of the fun facts, I'll include a link in the description down below. In the Forzathon shop for the week, you've got this, a Koenigsegg Regera and a Ferrari F50 GT. Hello. What I wanted to check out today was something a little bit different. If we jump into the auto show, press the back button and head down to Extreme E, this is the Chip Ganassi GMC Hummer Odyssey E SUV. It's literally got the longest name in history. For those of you who don't no, there are actually 10 different extreme e cars in the game. Every single one of them is a different requirement to unlock it. So you could go in and do a seasonal championship and get the number five extreme e car. I don't even know who that one is, but I wanted to get this one. All we have to do is go through a speed trap with an S2 class car. You might be saying, Nick, couldn't you do this way easier and just buy it from the auto show? Yes. It, y yes, I could. But I enjoy pain. Please tell me you can do 215. I think I got it. I think I got it. Uh, I died again. Yes! A new car has been added to your garage. The number 22 Extreme E Genesis. If you're short on cash and want to get an Extreme E car, don't bother wasting your time and buying it from the auto show for 700,000. Just go in, do a speed trap, super, super easy. All the cars are exactly the same. We've got nearly 550 horsepower, nearly 750 foot pounds of torque, nearly 4,000 pounds, but I'm really excited to see what customization we have on this thing. I'm gonna say something extremely controversial to say, and I think a lot of people are gonna disagree with me. But I really like the Extreme E car. I mean, I haven't driven it much, but I really like the idea of an Extreme E car. 550 horsepower, that's pretty good. Keep in mind, it's instant torque with these things. Because it's all electric, you get that torque instantly in the middle of the corner, so you kind of actually need to adjust your driving style. You'll actually usually plow on through the corner. The only downside, like I said, is that it's a little bit on the heavy side. I wish they were like a uh, 1,000 pounds lighter, but considering it is all electric, I guess sub 4,000 pounds isn't actually that bad. There aren't actually that many fun facts about like a spec series car other than the fact that I really want to drive one. You can actually see down in the bottom right, there are your gear thingies, but then where's your handbrake? The way you actually pull the handbrake on this thing is by pulling one of the flappy paddles, which is so sick. So does the character actually do it? No, that's unfortunate. But it, that, that is how you do it in real life, which is really, really sick. I wish the styling was a little bit more aggressive. Like I get it. They wanted to like build all these round shapes that are like aerodynamic, but I think they could have taken this platform and built something so aggressive looking that was just kind of like, outlandish, which is what I think Extreme E should be aiming for rather than bubbly, rounded corner. Like I said, I've got fingers crossed that this thing is going to have some good customization. I'm really hoping for some weight reduction and maybe even a couple of power mods. We'll see. You know what? Since it's all electric, it's probably worth taking this thing to the quarter mile. Let me do a quarter mile drag strip bone stock and just see what time it gets. Bone stock, Extreme E car. This thing's got... I was about to say it'd be a 10 second car, but I take that back. That's just, that's, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm like 15 years older. Why is this thing so slow off the line? It's just, ugh. It actually, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Watch the zero to 60 and watch the time up in the top left. Ready? Ready? 60. 3.5 seconds. Why does that feel so slow, though? I have no idea. An 11 second quarter mile isn't actually that slow, but like zero to 60 in three seconds should be like, and this is like, 
Uh, How have they made it feel so slow? Let's see what customization we've... What the? Motor and battery? Hello, so I can upgrade the power on this thing. Whoa, nearly a thousand horsepower and a thousand three hundred foot-pounds of torque. We're nearly doubling the horsepower in this thing. That puts us up to S1 class, actually. We'll come back to that in a second. For our tires, no, no. Why can't you let me mess around with my tire compound? How much money did Continental pay? I hope you can all read what that says. Moving on, let's get some uh, wider tires, I guess. I just want to be able to put on race tires. Let me put on race tires. Let me put on drag tires. If they need to say continental on the side, that's okay. I'll leave the rims. I actually really like the rims. OZ makes awesome wheels. We'll keep those. Please, yes, yes, yes. Okay, please don't let me down. Please don't let me down. Please, 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 please. Why does it weigh as much as a planet? Brakes? Brakes usually bring my weight down. 30 pounds. Nice. Anti-roll bars? Sure. Somebody says it in chat very well. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I just realized that there's not even suspension. There's no drift suspension. I don't know how much money Extreme E paid for this car to be in the game, but I've got to assume it was a whole bunch of money. All of the Extreme E cars need more tire compounds, need suspension customization, need better weight reduction, and if you could, more horsepower. Move it, moving on. Let's just toss the upgrades on. I was about to say, do you think I could make this thing wheelie? But then I remembered I don't have drag tires. I guess I'll try to make it a little faster. I think my biggest challenge for this is to make it into a drift car. Last but not least, if I head into the designs and paint, is there anything that I can do? Ooh. But we've actually got three advanced painting options. Okay, so group one is the main body of the car. Group two, that's gonna be... Is that the window trim? Whoa. Wait, what? Wait, whoa! Whoa, it's got interior customization! Whoa! All right, I would like to take back everything I said. This is my favorite car in the game. I'm going with a purple interior. What's this paint group then? Oh, this is my little rally lights down at the bottom. Okay. And my big, like, rear, rear window thing. That's so cool. Why did I accidentally make it look like Barney? <laughs> Fox ice racing? That one's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go and do another race. You know what? Maybe let's do a race all the way at the top of the volcano, and then I can try to make it snow. Come on, Extremey. And away we go. Oh my god, this thing is so, so strange. Okay, break heavy in... Oh my god. Oh my god. Doesn't want to race. Wait, 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 wait. When extreme E cars race each other, they don't actually race like this, do they? Don't they race against a claw? There is actually no power in this thing. How the hell am I going to be able to drift it? Like, don't get me wrong. It's actually really good, like, in the snow and stuff. Like, it's got tons and tons of grip, but it's just... It's a shocking car to drive. 900 horsepower has never felt so slow. And I guess that's because it's quite big and heavy and like you're insulated from the road. But it's just... Eh. Apparently, Extreme E's also working on a new hydrogen-powered car. So I totally understand that in real life, this would be incredible incredibly fun to drive to drive in the game with the lack of upgrades that it has it's just so ugh. anyways long story short across the line and now somehow why does it have positive camber <laughs> i gave it negative Yee. at least we beat lewis hamilton that's all that's important Okay, moving on. Why are they so positive camber? Like, <laughs> what, what is that? It's supposed to look like that, not like that. I need to give it maximum camber to see what, wait, what if I give it maximum positive camber? Who needs camber when you can look like a crab? Hey, it's literally on negative five degrees of camber. That would be like that. 
please. What? How? All right, so there's something very wrong with this car. All right, let's go back to the festival and I can uh, struggle at drifting. I guess I'm gonna be permanently all wheel drive. I'm gonna make my tires as thin as possible. I would have loved to have run drag tires, but uh, money. If I'm gonna be drifting this thing, super skinny tires, I guess I'm gonna go for some lightweight rims. I might as well. And then I literally have every other upgrade. Drift car, I've gotta crank the PSI on the tires. There's no way this is gonna work, by the way. Just, just a heads up. Also, since this thing doesn't have any drift suspension, I need to make my own. Twitch chat says Extreme E is super good at drifting. I will believe that when I see it. So Twitch chat says I should try this for an off-road drift zone first to see if it's any good. I mean, okay. There's definitely some potential there. If this thing can actually hold angle through the corners then maybe we might be able to do something. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely a little bit... It's kind of unpredictable, almost. That would be the best way to describe it. Yep, definitely can't pull that much angle. There's 90,000. So close. You know what? I'm just gonna go for an on-road zone, and we'll try that instead. I think, honestly, one of these small drift zones... I did this drift zone last week and had some good success on it. I don't even know what my personal best is on this zone, but I'm just gonna... You see why drift suspension is important now? Attempt number two, maybe let's go a little bit less angle this time so the car doesn't just been out from under me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not terrible. It's really not terrible. It's got way too much grip though. 102,000. What's my personal best? My personal best is only 112. With a lack of drift suspension, it's just, it's not possible. Go, go, go. Don't spin. I'm losing so many points because I can't get the angle. Like, I, I, I can't hold the angle. The only thing this car is good for is interior customization. I still stand by what I said at the start of this. I really like the Extreme E cars. I guarantee IRL, these are so much fun to drive. I bet you they're even fun to watch in real life. They've got so much presence to them and they're actually pretty quick. The concept is really cool, but the customization just lets it down. What really bothers me is this car could have been so good. Like this thing would have been so much fun to test against like the Ford Mach-E 1400 thing. That would have been so fun, but this thing is just not good enough.